The easiest way, unless you know the synths back to front, is to search for the instrument sounds via the instrument library. We open the library by clicking the library button on the top left or by hitting the key command Y. Here it will come up the instrument that we are currently using. If we scroll over to the left, you'll see where the instrument actually came from in the library. We can see that this default instrument came from Vintage Electric Piano, as this section is highlighted. We can also see all the other instruments such as drum kits, pianos, synthesizers. We click on any of these instruments, more instruments in the style will actually come up. For example, let's click on synthesizer and now I click bell. And let's choose the top one, air bells. You also notice that the picture is changed to a keyboard on the stand over here. That's because the instrument has changed. If we click on the inspector again, shortcut I, we can see that the instrument has changed to the ES2 synth. Okay, let's close the inspector again by hitting I. As we don't want our project to get too messy, let's make sure everything's nice and tidy. Okay, let's hit play by hitting the spacebar and hear what this actually sounds like. It definitely sounds different. For this MIDI information, I'm thinking more pop strings would actually sound good. We can see there's a search in the library up here. Instead of searching through the library, I'm just going to type in the words pop strings and see what instruments appear. Okay, let's go through a few of these. I'm actually thinking more of a piano part for this MIDI information. Let's type in pop piano. If we go down, we can actually see there's a pop piano and strings. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, let's unsolo this and hear what it sounds like in the mix. That works fine for now. Let's leave it like that. Okay, if we bring up the mixer by hitting the mixer button up here, we can see that the software instrument tracks have a few different preset plugins that come with the instruments. These can all be changed if need be. If we click on the shaker, for example, we can first see that it came from a pop kit over here. We can also see that its instrument is a drum kit and it has comp, which is compression, and Chan EQ, which is EQ. Let's first click on EQ. This will allow us to change the frequencies of the sound. We could give the bass a boost or roll up the high frequencies. The best thing to do here though is to hit the analyzer button and find out what frequencies are actually being played. You need to listen to the mix and find spaces for the instrument to actually fit in. Making sure that the frequencies don't clash too much with the other instruments. There's also a compressor. This basically means the loud stuff gets quieter and the quiet stuff gets louder. The more you compress the sound, the more you're making the loud quieter and the quiet louder. This can make our instrument fit more in the mix if we compress, but don't compress too much or you might lose the feel of the instrument. These settings will make an instrument sound fuller, but only if we mix the effects efficiently. We have to use our ears and find the spaces for the instrument to actually fit in.